Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, Bashem Rakakwadash. My name is Jacobo from Planet Tigers Camp of Philly. This is on the Gentiles in the book of Acts, uh, well, all the books, as referring to salvation, healing, forgiveness, is referring to Israelites. All right, and we'll prove it in two points. All right, this is it's going to be in Acts 14. Well, I have four scriptures, but or four chapters and I'm gonna start off with uh Acts 14 on um, where are we at 14 and 8 it says uh and there set a certain man at Lustra impotent in his feet being a cripple from his mother's womb who never had walked the same heard Paul speak who steadfastly beholding him this is the Israelite all right, this was not a heathen from Lustra. This was not a Greek, an actual Greek that descended from uh, Yohan. Yaw right, this was an Israelite that was scattered within his land. And that's the curses. All right. This is, uh, all right. Heard Paul speak. Said with a loud voice, stand up on thy feet. It's like, well, the same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. So he had to have faith to be healed. A, a Edomite or a Greek, someone that is not of the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, ending with Jacob, they will not have faith. They don't believe in the Most High God. They have they they are uh, into idols. But the Israelites that are scattered, all right, you have a number of them, an elect among the Israelites that were scattered that do believe, all right. And this man in Lustra did believe, all right. And said with a loud voice, so he had faith, he perceived that he had faith to be healed. So you have to have faith to be healed. Right? Just like Cornelius, he had faith, and his house had faith. Because right? they were they were Israelites. All right? Said with a loud voice, Acts 14, 10, stand up on thy feet, and he leaped and walked. Alright. Alright. And when the people saw that Paul, what Paul had done. They lifted up their voice, saying in the speech of Laconia, which is a Greek or a dialect of Greek, the gods are come down to us in a likeness of men. So they were about to worship him, worship them, uh, worship Paul and um, Barnabas. And they called Barnabas Jupiter, which is Zeus, and they called uh, Paul Mercurius, which I believe is Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. I believe uh, Hermes means uh, messenger. All right. And the priests of Jupiter, and then the priests of Jupiter, these were Israelites, all right, or Jews, all right, as they're mentioned as Israelites and Jews in the, in the New Testament, all right. So these were these were Israelites. Then the priests of Jupiter, which was before the city, brought oxen, garlands into the gate and would have done sacrifice with the people. So, what's traditionally believed is amongst uh, these Christians that call themselves Christians anyway. That these were heathens whom Paul and Barnabas converted. Which, if they were actual heathens, they wouldn't have taken heed to the word which Paul said. They wouldn't have known what, what Paul and Barnabas Paul and Barnabas were, were mentioning. All right. They would have looked at it, they would have just continued to do the worship. But they didn't uh, do the sacrifice. They would have continued to do the sacrifice, but they didn't. All right. Which Paul... Uh, which when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard, they rent their clothes and ran among the people crying out. Because these were Israelites that were scattered in Lustra. All right. And saying, sirs, why do ye these things? We also are men of like passions. So they knew that they were, they were. So this was some of the uh, Israelites that were scattered. that knew they were Israelites, but they worship, worship the Greek customs. All right. We also are men of like passions and preached unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living God, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all the things therein, who in time past suffered all nations to walk on their own ways, meaning, meaning the Israelites that were scattered within the nations. And this is the point here. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness and that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons filling our hearts with food and gladness. So those Israelite Gentiles remembered that this scripture, right? 
never even heard it. Having never even heard it. All right. And when these things. And with these sayings, scarce restrained they, meaning like at the last, it was, they were just about to do the sacrifice. And he, and he just persuaded them not to do the sacrifice unto him. And with these sayings, scarce restrained they, the people that they did, that they had not done the sacrifice. All right. So where, where was this at? This is actually in the law. Nevertheless, he left himself without a witness, left not himself without a witness, and that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons. Now right, you go to Leviticus, the 26th chapter, and the fourth verse, well, 20, the third verse, uh, 26 and 3. And if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield her fruits. Right. Scripture I just thought about. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see. All right, because the Israelites were scattered throughout the, the nations. All right, and our ancestors were practicing the Greek customs. All right, and it's not going to uh, label the Israelites Gentiles as Israelites if they're in a uh, if they're performing heathen customs. They will be labeled as Gentiles. All right, so this is Romans, I think two fourteen it says uh. Romans 2 and 13 for not the hearers of the law are just before the power but the doers of the law shall be justified for when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law these having not the law are a law unto themselves all right so these Israelites where are we at? the priest of Jupiter all right, were Israelites because they remembered in their spirit what Paul and Barnabas were saying. All right, that he left us not without witness, and that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons. All right, if they weren't Israelites, they would have gave the, the honor unto uh, Jupiter and Zeus. Well, Jupiter and um, Hermes, Paul and Barnabas. All right, Barnabas and uh, Paul. All right, but no, they remember what it said in the law. Let me see, let me highlight that. Rain and fruitful seasons. All right, and this goes back to the law. So that's the point. It, this the, the saying goes back to the law, and they believed what Paul said, and they didn't do the sacrifice. They believed what Paul and Barnabas said, and they did not do the sacrifice. All right, so it's become a law. Into itself, so they would. So since they um, didn't do the sacrifice, they didn't commit that sin. All right. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, which they didn't have the law, these are Israelites, do by nature the things containing in the law. These having not the law are a law to themselves. All right. And they didn't have the law, and it became a law to themselves because they did not worship the idol, which, which would be Paul and Barnabas. So they fulfilled for so they fulfilled that law. Then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the uh, field shall yield their fruit. Right? And this go the twenty sixth chapter goes into the uh, Leviticus twenty six goes into the curses of obedience and disobedience. Right? Twenty six and thirty three. Um, and I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. All right. So this is what Israelites scattered among the heathen. All right. And if, and if it fulfilled that, uh, well, it, it was, uh, it was a basic, like a history lesson that Paul and Barnabas was given to the Israelite Gentiles and they remembered it. 
Okay, all right, there you go. All right, so the second one, second point, is Book of Matthew. And, uh, Matthew 12th chapter and Isaiah 42nd chapter. All right, Lord of the Sabbath. It says, uh, there was a man, uh, Matthew 12, 11, and he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that says it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? What man is there among you that hath one sheep now who are the sheep go back to the 10th chapter Matthew 10 the sheep are the Israelites there are no other people that are referred to as uh, there's uh, sheep and of and of as olives the Israelites now people are scattered throughout the nation so that means they look like the other nations also so you look like they had the traditional look like so-called black Latinos and Native Americans and then they have the look of the other nations all right, so we you have to know by the spirit who these people are. One note, one key point is faith, and they they, they believe in scripture, they believe in the Bible. All right, they believe in the prophecies as we teach them. Because right, we're sent by Yahweh Shai right, to preach his gospel. Yahweh Shai is who the world calls Jesus Christ. That's his biblical, his true name. He only has one name, it's Yahweh Shai. That's the son, and the father is Yahweh. And what man there be among you that have shall have one sheep and if it fall into a pit on a sabbath day will he not lay hold on it and lift it out how much then is a man better than a sheep where for it is lawful to do well on the sabbath days oh uh, yeah so certain certain times it called you have to do work on a sabbath day uh, and this was a, a point that the lord stressed he said yeah I, i'm gonna I'm, I'm heal this man I'm going to put in work and I'm going I'm to do the Lord's work on a Sabbath day. All right? I'm going to do good to my brother. All right? I'm going to help my brother. All right? How much... Okay, did that. How much then is a man better than a sheep? All right? Matthew 12 and 13. Then said he to the man, stretch forth thy hand, and he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole like as the other. All right? So this was done. What? In the synagogue. All right. And when he was departed, he went into their synagogues. So this was an Israelite, clearly an Israelite, and not a heathen. All right. But look how he's labeled. When we go down. All right. So he so this man was healed in the synagogues. All right. Then the Pharisees went out and beheld counsel against him, how they might destroy him. But when Yahweh Shai knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. So these were all Israelites that were healed. All right. There weren't heathens that were going around being healed by the Lord. All right. These were Israelites that were in the land of Israel that were amongst the synagogues all right, that were being healed by the Lord. And charged them that they should not make him known. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah. It's, that's how you say Isaiah. Isaiah. The prophet saying, Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him. And he shall shew judgment to the Gentiles. Alright. So the people that were healed were labeled as Gentiles. And these were all Israelites. All right? There's no reference or clues or context clues that say that these were all heathens. All right? That were healed. All right? From the man that has his hand withered and the multitude that followed him when he saw the miracles. They were all Israelites. All right? They all believed the ones that were healed. All right, and it fulfilled the prophecy that he's going to show judgment to the Gentiles. And it goes to that prophecy in Isaiah 42. It says, Isaiah 42 and 1, Behold my servant whom I hold, my elect. This is referring to Yahweh Shai, the Lord, in whom my soul delighteth. I put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. All right. He shall not cry nor look up nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets because most of Israel rejected him. All right. 
it, so uh, you, you can't say this referring to the Gentile because they say, well, the, Gen- the Gentiles accepted him, right? Yeah. A bruised reed shall we not break, and a smack smoking flax shall we not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Who are the, the poor and needy, the Israelites? Who are the bruised, the ones that went into slavery, that were Hellenized? All right. Whom the Lord cares about, the Israelites. Right. Yeah, many nations that were Hellenized, that made it taken after the Greek fashion. All right. But the point here is the, the Israelites. All right. This, this is a book about the Israelites. All right. The past, present, future. All right. I will all, I all, I the, the Lord have called thee in righteousness and will hold thy hands and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light to the Gentiles. All right. So what? This is referring to what? All, all the Israelites. All of Israel was called Gentiles. All right. To open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison houses. All right. Now watch this. And that should bring up, I think, uh, Luke. John. I can't go back to Luke. Luke 4 and 18. The Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. Luke 4 and 18. And he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance to the captives and to recover the sight of the blind that I set at liberty that are bruised. <laughs> These are the, the Israelites. It's clearly referring to the Israelites to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. All right. And he closed the book. And gave it again to the minister that sat down. And the eyes of all them that were with him in the synagogue were fastened on him. All right. So the, who are the bruised, the brokenhearted, the ones that need to be delivered? Who are the Gentiles? They're the same exact people. All right. So this prophecy was, was fulfilled in the multitude and in that brother's arm that was uh, withered being restored whole like his other arm all right so hope that was um clear all right and edifying all right so hope you were edified to the next lesson shalom